Hi guys, welcome to my visionary world. It's me again, Lara, bringing you some small talk. Oh, I'm so excited today because I have come to the end of my list. Oh my gosh. Yes, my second chance list. This is the last installment and I'm so excited. You know why? Because I left the best for last, the most important. Oh my God. And I did say in the list that I left the best for last and it's true. So that's why I'm so excited because I'm going to be talking about money. <laughs> money. Hey, sisters, we need money. Oh. <laughs> we need money. See, who said money doesn't make you happy? That talk is a lie. Eh? Who? I don't know. Who came up with that talk? Money doesn't make you lie. Okay, so money doesn't make you happy, but we wake up early. Go to bed late, crack your brain, hustling day and night to get money. And it doesn't make you happy. Like, seriously. So what makes you happy? <laughs> what makes, being broke, busted, and disgusted. <laughs> Is that what makes you happy? No, happy has to be the opposite of that. See, eh, sisters, I won't lie to you. We need money. Eh? Money gives you options. We need money. See, we need to get to that point where we forget this Cinderella story. You know this Cinderella story we all watched when we were growing up, okay? That um, <laughs> the babe lost her shoe and the prince came, the knight and shining armor came and rescued her. It's a lie. <laughs> that story doesn't work again. Trust me. You need to stop planning a rescue mission. Hey, there's no prince. The prince is busy. He's hustling. He's looking for money. And guess what? You need to do the same. <laughs> you need to look for your own money. No, that's why your parents sent you to school. That's why you are, you are amazing like this. You can do it. You can make it. See, you know, there's so many opportunities out there for women. So many. And I know I'm, I, I, I'm joking because I want you to laugh. We, we need to laugh. <laughs> okay. But it's serious. You need to do something for yourself. Okay, you can't just be a rescue mission package. Is see, it's bad investment. Guys are smart these days. They are no longer. <laughs> it's bad market. It's, it's not a good investment. They invest their money now in viable projects, profitable <laughs> projects. So they check what did you bring to the table. Uh, people, I mean, times have changed. You need to change. You need to step up. You need to do stuff. See, there are so many amazing opportunities out there for women. So many. Do you know why? Because women are reasonable. Women are realistic. Women are hardworking. We're smart. We're intelligent. We're go-getters. We see, we don't look down on anything. And that's why if you check the stats right now, a lot of businesses that are exploding were started by women. Okay? Because they started with 1,000. 10,000. Gogzi started her cake business with 10,000 naira from her kitchen. Today, she's talking about millions on a daily basis. So many examples like that. So many. Okay? Why would you not be part of that action? Why would you not be part of that game? Like, seriously? No. Things are happening. Okay? And let me tell you, 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 you are doing this. It's beyond you. You are doing this for yourself. You are doing this for your kids. You need to make it. You need to succeed. Okay? Times have changed. Forget all those things our parents did and all of that. It was good for the time, but times have changed. Okay? All of this uh, investment your parents made on you anyway, sending you to school, doing all of these things, it should pay off now. Okay? Then even if you decide that all you want to do is stay at home and be, be a stay-at-home mom, you can't. People are making things happen. Millionaire wife, this, so many things are happening. Even from staying at home is no longer an excuse. Seriously. And if a guy says, don't go out, I don't want you to do anything, which we have some of those cases, that's why I stay at home. Okay? This is internet world. Just press it and a lot can happen. Seriously. You need to ditch that rescue plan Rescue mission plan is not a good plan, okay? Rescue yourself, okay? You have everything it takes to rescue yourself. You can do it, you can do it, and 
I know you can do it because you are amazing like that. Let me tell you a small story, okay? Because <laughs> we like stories. When my marriage hit the rock, I was down to zero, as in zero. Coco, <laughs> nothing. There was nothing. It's a long story, okay? That story is not for, that, that story, that aspect of that story is not for today, okay? But guess what I did? I started all over again. I decided to pick it up. And you know what? That was the craziest thing to do at the time, okay? People even discouraged me. People even said, you know, just go and get a job, do this. When it was time for me to serve, I didn't even want to serve with anybody. Not to talk of getting a job at this point. That was like the worst thing anybody could tell me at the time. But that was how bad the situation was. Well, you know what? I told myself I can do it. That I did it the first time, it was not a fluke. Okay? I have something to offer. So I went back, okay, and picked it up again. It was hard, okay? Because now I had baggage. I, now I had this, some of these lies running around in my head that uh, uh, you are just fooling yourself, you, you know, you can't make it, blah, blah, blah. It wasn't true. It wasn't true. And all I did was I kept my eye on the ball. I kept my eye on the ball. I was serious. I stayed with it, okay? It was tough. Through the hard time, the, the tears, everything, I stayed with it. And within just three short years, oh gosh, I was back. I was, oh, my bad assness paid off. <laughs> it paid off, okay? And you can do it too, seriously. There's nothing special about me. I didn't do anything, you know, special other than staying consistent, staying with it, not giving up when everybody else said I should have given up, when everybody else said I couldn't make it. I didn't listen. I just stayed. I just, I knew, I suspected deep within me that I had something more to offer, that it wasn't over for me. And guess what? It's not over for you either. Okay, so it doesn't matter if you're just, if you're in the category where you're just starting and you're like, oh, can I do it? I'm, I'm here to tell you, you can. And if you are like me, you, are, you, you were there before and then everything came crashing, everything came down. I'm here to tell you that it's not over till it's over. You can do it. If you pick it up, you can make it. That you made it the first time, it was not a fluke. It was not luck. You have something to offer your world and you should offer your world that thing because your world is desperately waiting for you. And this is why I said that we have to talk about bold money moves. Did you know that banks offer loans to female-owned businesses? Banks like Access Bank. Did you know that? I bet you, you don't have the information. But I know you've seen the advert on TV. And when you saw the advert, you were like, ah, you didn't even, you didn't pay any attention. And you probably said stuff like, oh, no be my type. <laughs> no be my type, they, they give. Like, seriously, it's your type. It's your type they give. It's your type they're looking for. But what do you need to do? You need to get the information. You need to hit the road. Get, do a feasibility study. What is the business you want to do? How much is it going to cost? What is it going to, what is involved? Get mentors. Who are the people doing well in, in, the, in what you want to do? Talk to them. Know how they did it. Know the mistakes they made so that you can avoid those type of mistakes and you can make it. See, women, we're awesome like that. We're dynamic. We can take a little and make much out of it. We can take five loaves of bread and feed thousands with it. This is what women are made of. And you are one of those type of women. And if you make up your mind, see, when a woman makes up her mind, ah, it is powerful. And you can do it. You can do it. You can do it. And I'm going to keep telling you, you can do it because I'm not moved by 2020 COVID or whatever. Yes, little setback, okay? But this is the stuff powerful people are made of. So when there's a setback, what do you do? You forge ahead, okay? And that's what we're going to do. And we are going to begin to plan for 2021 because 2021 is around the corner. And see, eh? hey, this COVID has just even made us even more, more determined to do more because now we need to double the hustle. <laughs> we need to double the hustle, double the effort, and 
double the money. <laughs> and it's going to happen because there are opportunities waiting out there to be taken. I'm going to be part of that and you are going to be part of that. And we are going to make bold, audacious money moves. <laughs> and guess what? It's not even, 2020 is not even over. So things are still going to happen if you make up your mind, okay? And if you like this, my badass gist, then you should subscribe to this channel and hit the like button so that I can be encouraged and inspired to bring you more gist like this. Because you know now, we like gist, okay? And I did promise you that I would break it down for you. Okay, because I don't want to come here and just give stories. No, that's not the idea. The idea is to impact my world. The idea is to show people, okay, how I did the little that I did. Okay, so you have to subscribe so that you don't miss out on my coming just on my breakdown. How I did it, how I made, how I made it happen, how I recovered from a catastrophic loss, from setback. From from zero, I'm gonna I'm gonna show you how I did some of that. If you hang here with me, so watch out for me. Till then, catch you later.